Hello YouTube, this is Ben Gasol. You can tell I still have my lower voice, so I'm still recovering from whatever it is I have. Um, and again, I don't know, I'm guessing I'm doing better. It's just in low energy right now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try to keep, take care of myself. I'm making a quick video here. Uh, this is a little bit different subject. I've talked about um, martial arts a little bit here and there in some of my videos. This is not just about martial arts. This is going to be uh, kind of a general observation I have about um, uh, uh, I guess you could say it's about humanity in general, but it's more especially regarding um, anyone who's a I, again, it's not just pointed at anyone who's a teacher or a master or whatever. It's of whatever they're doing, you'll see kind of where I'm going as I talk about this, I guess. So, uh, uh, the one entity that we know that is perfect and is omniscient and is all powerful and all knowing and perfected, it, but even many don't believe in his existence, it's God, right? So, God is, is, there's no, no one that we know of that's greater than God. Uh, and so no matter who you're talking about, whoever existed, who's ever existed on the earth, um, well, I guess with Jesus, but some, a lot of people believe he's the same person. So aside from God and Jesus, uh, you're talking about um, imperfect, imperfect mortal men who are uh, still learning and they're still you know going through whatever so they haven't quite got to the end point yet uh so when it comes to martial arts you know they have belt colors and things and different dan ranks what would god be is it always interesting what, what would god be with, with regard to anything any skill any area of knowledge any ability he's as far as you can go there, you know, if God is truly all knowing and all powerful, God would win handily in a martial arts tournament. But of course, he would, God wouldn't want to hurt anybody. So, yeah. So, you know, um, and by the way, a lot of folks, when they get older enough, or also, um, at a certain point in martial arts, they start, uh, they realize this more and more on a deeper level that they truly don't want to hurt anybody. I mean, it's not their intent to. I don't know. It's, you can really go on a tangent there. But uh, these older martial arts masters, not just in Asia, but other places, really are very peaceful folks a lot of times. You might see the violent tendencies more in younger folks, and you can blame them on testosterone or whatever you want. Uh, just being younger and, and less experienced, or less patient or whatever, I don't know. Um, all I know, okay, so there, there's, there's so many different tangents here, I'm trying to stick to one. <laughs> and one of the things I, one of the main things I have to say is, because, because mortal men are imperfect, so many times when you hear something, whether it's martial arts or something else, that someone advocates is true, uh, there may be a great deal of truth to it, right? But there, is there a guarantee that it's completely true? 100% true that you can put your faith and trust in it. And so you'd be, you know, if you think about this, this question, it really does touch on a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Um, so that, of course, many people rely and trust on like the scriptures, the, the Bible, or my church, the Book of Mormon, and things, uh, Doctrine and Covenants, or whatever, Prolegate Pro Price. But it's uh, one of the reasons why that is, is because there's so many things that aren't as true as the Ten Commandments and those things that were taught. In the scriptures, but um, the funny thing about spiritual truth is you have to feel that it's true, not just know it's true. Or 
or or see that it's true, right? Perceive, you know, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, it, so, so there's a lot of confusion, a lot of discussion going on about all kinds of subjects. There always are. And so we come to a full, complete knowledge of the truth, of the truth about everything. Uh, that's going to take a long, 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 <laughs> long, long time. Well after we're dead. Well, at, well after we're dead. Um, eh, like eons, maybe. I don't know. And so, and, you know, it's assuming that we're going to be alive after we're dead, which I believe we're going to be alive after we're dead. So I, I think it's just important, you know, to think of, you don't want to, you don't want to put too little stock in the, the, the things that people that are more knowledgeable and advanced in different areas have to offer. There are many things that, they can, that people can offer that are more skilled in something, truly more skilled in something, some area, that uh, can really help you. Uh, I'm just, what I'm trying to say within this video is that um, it isn't, it isn't going to be, uh, unless you're talking about reading the scriptures themselves, and, and assuming you're Christian or LDS, you know, LDS or whatever, uh, it, it, it's, you're just not going to find, you're rarely going to find a 100% truth. And how do you know if something is 100% true? You know, there's different ways of knowing something is true and deeper and deeper levels of knowing something is true. Uh, and yeah, I don't have to mention scientific laws, supposedly laws, and then they find, oh, something might challenge this law. Who set up this whole system of hypotheses and, and theories and laws anyway? It was mortal men. It wasn't God. God is never as, you know, he's never. So, so, you know, with each gradation of how true something likely is, it has to do with more and more scientists over a longer period of time that have said this is true. But it's still not, it's still not 100% in every possible place that ever has existed, ever throughout multiple universes and spaces, and I don't know, it's not, you know, there's no telling if it's always going to be true. If every scientific law is going to always be true. It's a triple no force, true, in every, we don't know because we haven't, we barely know what's going on outside of our own, we know about interstellar space and we've been a little ways, but we haven't even gone outside our own universe. Or we don't even know if, if it, there's a multiple universes or not. Um, there's so many things we just don't understand still about astronomy. We're still learning about, you know, black holes and stuff. So I mentioned all this because there's there's some content in my video uh, that, um, well, and this is the case with all all things you read. I do my best to be as knowledgeable and as informed as I can be about different subjects. And I haven't really talked very much at all about what I'm best at, music, even. But, you know, with a lot of subjects, you know, um, there's still a lot of things I'm learning, still learning. You know, but I, I do know a fair amount, yes, actually quite a bit. I have experienced quite a bit in life, yes. Uh, but, you know, I'm okay with people disagreeing with me or anything like that. That's okay, so long as it's not a personal attack. I don't tolerate personal attacks, at least online. If I know somebody in real life who I have an issue with, we can talk about it in real life, not online. With online personal attacks, it, it also takes on added... Uh, instantly, I didn't want to talk about this, but in case you guys are wondering, um, it, it, can, it can turn into... Uh, I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, but... There's terms like libel or slander, you know, things in defamatory kinds of things. Uh, the reason why it's so serious is because something that would otherwise be a private disagreement or conflict with somebody can turn into something public. And so I, you know, this is why you don't go after people online. 
Um, really, or you should be careful. I, I should be careful about doing this stuff. Um, it's even, it's more and more the case. Sorry, one second here. Um, it's, um, it's more and more the case when, um, Sorry, folks, I'm going to go somewhere else. It's more and more the case when again, it's just like I said it's just before, um, in the arena of conflicts with other people, you can resolve things um, outside of anybody else knowing and no matter how upset someone is or not when something is online it also is a question of how many people they're reaching um it's kind of a, yeah that's the best way of putting it it's also a question of if you actually name somebody that's very serious if you don't name someone it's it becomes a different matter um then you're just going after the behavior, which is a different kind of thing. But, you know, for all you guys that are making, ever going to make content where you're, you know, and this is, these are good things to mention. But yeah, I mean, um, we live in a time when things are very different that way. There's a lot of online stuff going on. Um, and we, we know, I don't have to tell you about something else that's happening right now involving the nature of online communication. That is really still very vexum. But, you know, so there's that whole train of thought. But getting back to what I'm saying before, imperfect people make mistakes. Uh, we don't always uh, know everything. But we try our best to share what we can that is true and helpful. But we don't. We are not gods. We, we, I mean, we are not... We are not omniscient. We are not all-knowing. And no YouTuber is, and no even teacher or master is that's ever lived. Bruce Lee, um, many of you calling him was the best martial artist ever, you know. But uh, is that a 100% truth? No. <laughs> but he, oh, wow. was really, really committed to to a physical fitness and all that stuff. Um, yeah. So uh, I did apologize again. I just sometimes add, sometimes have these little interruptions um, in videos. Uh, I wish I if I'm gonna have a different living situation in the future. Things will change. Um, I'm still uncertain regarding how often I'll put out YouTube videos. I'm uncertain about, of course. What's going to happen with my channel? I have no idea what's going to happen. So it's out of my hands, some of the, a lot of this stuff, as you know, after all I can do, which is label my videos as being for adults and not kids. So with that, I will uh, wish you guys a happy day. I don't know what the date is. Today is November 22nd. And hopefully uh, you guys are doing well. And leave me thoughts and comments below. Catch you guys later. Take care. Bye.